if I told you that there was a way for you to make your F1 car in GTA Online 60 miles an hour faster than its standard self. This is something that I have discovered myself. I haven't seen anyone else do a video on it, so I'm happy to be the first one probably. Uh, this actually requires no mods, not a single glitch, no garage glitches, none of that. Basically, it's so simple to do that anyone can do it. You don't even have to be good at the game, you don't even have to be good at driving. The only thing you need to do this is the F1 car. Now, I'm only doing this with the um, PR4 because that's the one that was out on the podium so I can't say this for any of the others <clears throat> but simply all you gotta do is drive into something that's it that's all you gotta do all you gotta do is drive into something at a very high speed but there's many ways you can do this the most effective way that I have found is driving into them little yellow bollards things that are on the highway I do have footage of it um, basically what you do is you just drive into them and it bounces around a bit but a bit like the trophy truck you drive through it and all of it falls off every single bit of the car just falls off and from there you basically you can see luckily when I did do this I had the um, <clears throat> uh, what's it called I had the speed test the free mode event with who can achieve the highest speed so luckily this came along at just the right time so I could actually see an accurate speed reading on between normal car and destroyed car basically because when you see this thing it is basically there's nothing left of the car it's just some wheels and a body um, <clears throat> but basically all you, that's literally all you gotta do I don't know why it does this but obviously when you drive through them it does bounce a bit so but as you pro as you're gonna see by the footage I've got speedometer on the car and on the bottom right corner of the screen with the speed challenge that it increases quite a bit and this is even without the boost that comes with the car now if we were to add the boost <coughs> excuse me um, if we were to add the boost to this we would get to just only for a second but it hits it 180 miles an hour which I think is without speed glitches and popping your tires in cars is the fastest vehicle in the game minus in the vigilante and the rocket car but you can't well you can use the rocket car in races but I don't think that's as fast um, this is something that you can probably do in the actual F1 races when they come along <clears throat> basically all you have to do is just get rid of the car I know it works if you get rid of the front wing I know that increases the speed um, but as you can see by the footage that for some reason only works along the well it doesn't only work the only place I managed to get it to work successfully is the highway on the left of the casino as you go up towards Sandy Shores um, but I will do a freeze frame of it hitting 180 miles an hour um, also some other things for some reason it can't go over some curbs straight away you can go side to side on them um, like curb boosting but if you go head on collision to a curb it doesn't always work um, so that's that's a thing um, so far those are the only things I've discovered with this car with it being out also if you're boosting 
and you get killed uh, when you respawn you have the the little boosting screen there is all like the different colors and everything uh, which is a bit weird also if you destroy the entire car and have nothing left if you go into LS customs it brings it all back you don't have to pay for it to be repaired so if you lose a bit you don't have to pay for it to be repaired which I think is pretty cool um, but back with the boosting kill you can't do it if you commit suicide you have I don't know if it's um, every time thing but it's just something that occurred being on online I'm driving around to get shot for no reason you can't use weapons in this car so I'm not a threat I can't blow you up but I still got shot but I was mid boosting when he killed me and it kept with the screen so it's a bit weird um, but no those are just some things I've discovered about this car um, with it being out I don't know if it's going to be the same I hope they add some more open wheel cars maybe some streety version types um, but that's all I've got for you today just a little kind of an update on the PR4 so if you still want to get it uh, you have got until Thursday to do it what day are we on at the moment we are on I believe it's Wednesday today so you literally only have depending on when you're watching this I'm currently recording this on February 26th which is Wednesday obviously uh, no yeah no yeah Wednesday February whatever um, so you've only got until today to get this car on the podium so hurry up get it on there if you don't know how to do the unlimited spins basically the only one I'm assuming it's the same with all but you spin the wheel if you don't if you can see it's not going to land on the car or what it is you want it to land on just get rid of GTA 5 exit out of it don't try and don't like come out of online just close GTA altogether get it off your screen and then the game will not save they can't change this they can't patch this you cannot it cannot I don't think the game can actually save during the spin so if you can see that it's not gonna land on the wheel on the um, lucky car while it's spinning exit out of it quick because I think once it's finished spinning and you exit out of that casino it saves and it's done you can't do it again you gotta wait so try and get out of online or off GTA completely while it's spinning otherwise you've lost your spins but that's all I've got for you today hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy please leave a like would be amazingly appreciated um, and obviously if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe I will try and do these type of things more often um, but as they come along that's all I'm going to be able to do because I kind of do my own form of research so um, but if you did enjoy leave a like comment any things you want me to test any questions and subscribe if you want to see more I have got gameplay walkthroughs as well on the channel I'm currently going through the Master Chief collection uh, I just recorded some Halo 3 last night from recording this um, so that's all set and ready. So I will see you next time and peace out and goodbye.